So this video is going to be about uh, how to make a free energy generator just using uh, some copper and some magnets, a few pieces of wire. So basically you need a center of an alternator. Um, any alternator should work. Uh, you just basically need the magnets going around in the circle. Uh, also you need four ceramic magnets, four pieces of copper tubing, uh, one inch in diameter by three inches in length. You start by putting the center of the alternator in the center and placing the four magnets. Uh, each has to be opposite polarity. Um, to do this, just kind of hold the magnets together and make sure that they are repelling and not attracting. This will create electromagnetic induction. Um, it creates some sort of reaction. I'm not sure exactly what happens in the ground, but with this I'm able to get a voltage. Uh, but connecting all four of the copper pipes uh, crisscross. Two of them on the left would be positive and the two on the right are negative polarity. Uh, the way I figured this out was by putting my voltmeter on either one of them and when it would read negative I knew I had the voltmeter on the opposite sides. So crisscross the positive to the negative on each side. Um, it should create some sort of grid. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I thought this would ground it, but apparently it doesn't. Uh, the reason I started messing with all this is basically if you take a, a voltmeter and you stick it in the ground, uh, positive and negative, and you just stick them in the ground, you get a voltage. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about Nikola Tesla and uh, like the Michael Tellinger energy circles, and it interested me how these people were able to get raw energy out of the ground. So I started messing around with this. Um, got no idea of the science behind it or how it works. But so let's get to the testing. Uh, I realize the sun's on the voltmeter, so I'll slow it down. You can see I'm pulling about 19.69, 19.7 volts. Um, I was thinking there's got to be some way to store this energy and then run it in a series and you could probably get a lot more voltage out of it but the fact that I'm creating electricity out of the ground to me is pretty cool so if you guys could leave some comments and let me know why this is working or how this is working um, it would be helpful here's the light test basically you know positive to one end negative to the other end in this case, the light's black and white, black's negative, white's positive. Bear with me here. I know it works eventually. There we go. So we'll get some flickering. In a second or so, it will go stable. Mm, there we go. Okay, we've got good steady light. So there's the light test. Voltage is at 19.73. Light's still on. In a second here, I'll show you that there's nothing really around or no wires leading to this. Um, I'm not really into bullshitting. I wasted a lot of time messing with this free energy stuff to bullshit. As you can see, I just converted my whole house to solar. I got six kilowatt panels on my roof. So. There is nothing under here. It's just a styrofoam box I used for when I just did my roof to store water in. An extension cord over here is what I was charging my phone with to record this video. I'll throw it out of the way just so you guys see that that's not what's powering this. Light's still on. Let's get this cord out of the way. Fuck you, cord. Gone. Okay, and one last look here to show the light's still working, and pow. In my next video, I'll uh, do a run through of my 6 kilowatt grid tied solar system, show you guys exactly how it works.